Let me talk to you a little bit about creativity. A lot of people have this misconception that they're not creative because they're not artsy or musical, but that couldn't be further from the truth because creativity is the formation of existing things into something previously unrealized. But to further understand that, I'm going to use Lego as an analogy to explain the stages of creativity and the constructing of new ideas. So step one is preparation. So this stage focuses on gathering more information. So whether that's reading new books, watching different types of content, whatever it is, you are just gathering information and getting more data. So this translates to you getting as many Legos as possible. The more Legos you get, the better, but you also want to make sure you get a variety. Stage two is called the incubation. And just like it sounds, all this new information that you got from stage one is going to start to cook together. Your brain is going to start to form connections between the new information and the old information. Stage three is illumination. This is the elusive eureka moment where seemingly out of nowhere, your brain has formed a new successful connection that's given you a new original idea. So since your brain has stored all the information on the various Legos that you've collected, it's now been able to create a new shape. And stage four is the verification. This is where pen comes to paper, visions come to life, and where you formulate your new idea. Now it's great knowing these four stages and how to construct new ideas, but realistically, it's never as straightforward as that. You know, there are times when we're struggling to generate new ideas or we are experiencing burnout. So let me show you how you can get over that so you can get your creativity back in full flow. One of the main issues that is normalized in society right now is the overconsumption of content. Now, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of your screen time and how much social media affects you, all of that, but I do want to explain to you how it's affecting your creativity. Because so many of us are spending every waking minute of our lives consuming something, whether that's scrolling on our phones, listening to a podcast, watching a show, whatever it is, we are always inserting new information inside us. First or last thing we do when we're getting into or going into bed is check our phones. We're at a point of just complete consumption. But why this is so bad and affects us so much is that we never get to enter stage two, incubation. Because we're constantly inserting information, we never actually get to output anything that's actually creative. So as you probably worked out, for you to start producing more, you have to start to consume less. And one of the best ways you can do that is to let your brain wander. And all that simply means is that when you're in the shower, turn off the music. When you're on your commute to work, turn off that podcast or that show. All you need to do is just exist, like have a period of the day when you're not consciously thinking about anything or consuming anything, you are literally just existing because that's the time when your brain is going to go on this mad trail and start forming all of these new connections. Now, it's not going to happen straight away, but if you do start to implement these daily habits of nothingness, I guarantee you will start to become more creative. it you know that's how you can start to produce more ideas and hack your brain to become more creative so if you have got a lesson laugh or a light bulb moment from this video i would really appreciate if you drop a like down below and if you're feeling extra nice you could hit the subscribe button but i'll leave that option up to you with that being said i will catch you in the next one see ya